Hello, I am Martin Fenska and welcome to another episode of Let's Play Civilization 5 as Venice. So the plan for today is to take at least one more city from Indonesia, ideally both, but I'm not sure if we can be that fast, uh, even with catapults. Well, it depends on how many units Indonesia has for defense, so we'll find out as soon, I guess. That's uh, one thing, and then I wanted to answer one comment quickly about trade routes. I should get more trade routes as soon as possible. That would be true uh, as Venice in a normal Venice game, but in our situation, let me check what's available. Come on. Oh, this is what I need to hit. Here. Uh, gold would probably be uh, the top priority, right? So, one trade route is to Constantinople with four gold. That would be okay. But I will show you what's the problem. Uh, the other one is uh, Addis Ababa, so that's our next target. So sending a trade route there is a bad idea. And everything else is pretty bad. Even the, the trade route to Addis Ababa is honestly pretty bad. Uh, now, why I don't want to send the trade route to Constantinople is because it would go uh, through Ethiopian territory. So again, that would get pillaged as the, as the war with Ethiopia starts. So external trade routes are basically not an option. And then internal trade routes, so food... Well, we can send uh, more food to our capital, which is not uh, necessary at this point, I would say. We are already sending two trade routes there with food. And I don't th think that feeding one of our puppets is a top priority. So, that's food and production. We can only send production to... Uh, actually, wait. We can send production from Venice. And I don't think that uh, increasing production of our puppets is, um, again, the top priority. We can't really control what they are doing with that production. So, I think at this point, there is no need to get to our trade route cap. There is just nothing we would be using or we need those trade routes for. Uh, we'd be just building them for the sake of like having them, but there would be no real advantage uh, that we could get from them. So instead, we'll be investing into buildings and units that we do need that will or most likely will make a difference. Uh, first, Circus Maximus will be very useful, and then I queued up three skirmishers because we need fast units that can flank uh, the enemy and do some damage, then retreat. Uh, I'm not sure if we can fight just with the front line and with range units behind. We are still pretty squishy, 10 turns away from steel. Maybe when we get steel, then it will be better. We need to upgrade our front line units as soon as possible. But I still want to have those flanking units available. So that's what we're going to be investing the production into. Okay, so that's that. And uh, let's start playing. Is there anything I'm missing? I don't think so. Here we want to kill barbarians. We have a, uh, Inquisitor on the way to Sophia. Actually, I noticed that we don't have any followers here. So I should have built a missionary first. Uh, but well, we'll just wait with that Inquisitor. And... Uh, yeah, now we just need to heal up. Okay, next. I think I didn't forget anything. Uh, I'm not sure if I want to attack before our upgrades even. Might be faster to even wait for upgrades. Make sure everything is healthy. Upgrade everything in one turn. And just use the more advanced units. Uh, I just noticed that they have Chris Swordsman, so if they have more of those, uh, we would be fighting on equal terms, and uh, the AI is pretty damn good at this point. Uh, so, while I'm confident I would be able to win, it would take too long. So, uh, it's better to just sit back, maybe kill a few units in defense, and when we get the edge, then we just uh, go all in and uh, smash their units. And here they are sending a settler. Hmm. We'll probably try to take that city. Let's see. They're probably going to start the city here. And if I send these two, probably need the swordsman down here. I'm just checking if I can somehow find more units that I could send down. Hmm. What the fuck? 
you can stay here, but if I send this composite bow south, then two composite bows should be able to take a city, right? Before they can build walls. Depends on reinforcement. But I'll see about that. I don't want to send a catapult back or or buy a catapult. I could buy a catapult in Geneva. Take the city very quickly. But I need to save the money for unit upgrades. Well, in worst case scenario, this we don't have to take this city like right away. This is more important, or it's more important to take these cities than this one, which will just fall. If we want it, we just send units there. It won't be a problem. Now, I have to stay focused on what we are supposed to do down here. This is important. This is where we need to win as quickly as possible. Uh, losing Ross. People entering medieval era. Good for them. Uh, you are done. So let's start working on the road, I think. We'll build the road here and we will get villages or towns on the, these three tiles. I think that's the maximum that I can get from this road. Next. Nine turns. We need to find one horses. Do I want to sell you horses? I don't think so, at least not yet. Maybe I'll be able to get the uh, four four skirmishers. It's unlikely, but I mean if I have the option, I don't want to like the horses. Right. Should have moved this way. Oh, whatever. Okay, we have the general on the way. And uh, yep, they are trying to attack here. So can I find a few shots? Get a kill perhaps. Probably won't be able to f get a kill, but I started with an attack. Now I should be able to kill him. Good. I need those skills because they will get us to steal faster. Fortify. Go. Okay, this looks good. The more units they send, the better for us. Because in this position, they can't attack first, because of the Great Wall. And we'll always be able to kill at least one of them before they can do anything. So we shouldn't be taking too much damage while they are losing units and we are getting culture and science. This is perfect. I said that the AI is good and uh, not really proving it right now. But on the other hand, what can the AI do against the Great Wall, right? It, they want to be more active than through the Great Wall. It's mission impossible. Uh, 11, 12, okay, let's just grow a little bit faster. It doesn't make any difference on the production, but it makes a difference here, so every turn, I mean, it's better than nothing. Is there anything to the south? Nope. So if I move like this, then one, two, three. I want the experience for the catapult, and I can hit this guy, fortify here. Move, move. Move. Okay, we locked this guy. You guys need some healing probably before we can 
uh, think about attacking. Can I attack from here? Well, I can attack. Question is, what's the garrison gonna do? And I should have killed that missionary there. Uh, you'll fix that. Yeah, I think I'll ignore the warrior for now. The barbarians are more important, I think. Fortify. I want the siege done as quickly as possible because I'm a bit nervous that Ethiopia could attack and if uh, they can just attack into our flank then that would be a massacre. I have a feeling that I'm missing something and I think this time it's not just a feeling that I really am missing something I wanted to do oh. Well, just end the turn if it's something important it should show up at some point yeah, and they'll lose another spearman we are six turns four turns away from steel now I think if I want to be more aggressive and just move forward, start sieging the city, but I really want those upgrades for my frontline units. Because if they then, uh, if I move in and I can't take the city fast enough and for I'm forced to retreat, uh, then I get those upgrades, but it will be upgraded uh, wounded units and everything will just become more difficult. So I think patience is the play here. Let's use the catapults, we get the experience, we'll check who is close to level up, he, you can heal up, we are closest to level up. Four turns. Oh, hello. Fortify. Move down so we have replacement for this guy. I could even. No, we are not gonna do that. There is a swordsman. Hopefully, the swordsman is up. That would be perfect. Come on, move up. Oh, we are in bombardment range. I didn't notice. Well, in that case, we'll just move back. Now, we need skirmishers down here. I was thinking about sending it up here to help. But I think it's important that we take these cities. I really shouldn't be shouldn't get distracted by this city. It almost feels like a bait that he wants to lure my units away from these cities. Okay, what about this worker? so many things that we still need but I think what I need are roads do this so that I can attack with both catapults on the first turn when we decide to move in. Can we get more science? Two turns. Fortify. 
Next. There is our global monopoly finally. And uh, you want to buy it. Would you give me six? It's, actually, he would give me six. Okay, I noticed that uh, in this patch, uh, the AIs are willing to give uh, pretty decent uh, or accept pretty decent trades for us because, of course, with the value 384, six gold per turn, they are overpaying. But, well, yeah, you can have it. That's definitely going to help with our income. There goes Colossus, but I really think that Colossus in this game wouldn't give us basically anything. It would give us the yields from the Colossus itself, and that's basically it. So it would be about five gold, one culture, and one merchant point. Just not bad, but not good enough for a wonder. Okay, one more turn. See, now it's time to move here, here, and uh, let's see, ah, that, more units now, ah. okay, attack, attack, I hope I can get this kill, yeah, should be easy, there, Uh, oops, I thought I had two movement points. Never mind. Wait. Hmm. The swordsman can take a lot of damage now. Because there's a composite bowman. Hmm. Fortify. Okay, how does it look like? Move here. One, two. Fortify. Uh, actually, we'll probably we want to start building the road from the other side. We can fix this. Attack. Now let's give the uh, the kill to this guy. Fortify. Okay, next. So there's steel. That's the first step. One, two, seems that I wasn't fast enough. Three, four, to move a little bit. The catapult has to move back. This one has to move back. I have to retreat from that swordsman. One. If I retreat back, I'll still get hit. It might be better to just hit him first. I'll force him to move away with 26 hit points. Okay, research. Physics next. We need trebuchets. 
then education, chivalry, machinery, gunpowder. Wait, wait. Actually, that's probably the wrong direction. Oops, go back. We'll try to kill this warrior. Can I try to force him to stay embarked and just kill him with the bowman? And what the hell are you doing here? Okay, next. Well, you will have to hold. That's an interesting decision to just move forward. And look how much damage even the longsword took. This is the move. Okay, so that's one. I was hoping that I'll kill him. Of course, it's one hit point. What else would it be? No, I don't want to take more damage. Or more unnecessary damage, that's what I mean. Attack. Well, might as well start working on the road south. I can't build the road here. Uh, the other option, one, two, three, four. Now, I need my skirmishers down here. And it seems that he decided to sail towards his doom. Okay, uh, I knew that I was missing something. This is what I wanted to do. Next. Damn, look at that. Where are those units coming from? Let's get the lighthouse, that will give us a little bit of money. Then we'll see, I may even uh, get some money just this way. To get all the upgrades that we need. And... Uh, uh, do we have... No, I thought that we may have one copy of Jade for sale. No, no, we don't. What we could tr sell is some iron. Uh, listen, Theodore, you may want some iron. 
Thursday. No, you don't want iron. Who else? You may need some iron. That's much better. Much can I s afford to sell? I don't want to sell too much. I think I'll just sell two for three gold per turn. Thinking if there is anything else, but I don't think so. I could just sell the last copy, even. Uh, I'm thinking if we need it. Because we are happy. There's like, no need to just keep piling up more luxuries. As long as we are 100 percent happiness, if we can get a decent deal on something, look at what we have. Maybe I can sell nutmeg. Let's get one deal here. Can we get four? If I add one iron, let's say, I want to trade with him and get an embassy as well. Ah. Guess it's gonna be three gold per turn. Because uh, with uh, at least some kind of a trade, uh, we'll hopefully, or he hopefully won't uh, declare war on us. But it will take longer before he declares, because at some point he will declare he hates warmongers, right? Are we still at 100%? We want glass. Oh, we could maybe go for salt. Can we get a decent deal for salt? As we conquer more cities, we'll get the salt back. You don't want salt. You want salt. That's a decent deal if we can get six. I'm not sure if I can hold the line here. This might be a horrible idea, but it allows me to move another range units closer. I think we're gonna lose the pikeman. <clears throat> Heal up. Sucks that I had to block this tile, I couldn't upgrade the spearman on this turn. Thing. And uh, even the bowman is now in trouble. I 
I have to block this tile now. Make sure that uh, the, the Spearman can't attack him. Actually, you know what? You can help with the road there. And this warrior just doesn't know when to stop. Now I have to protect the trade route there. Wait. Fortify. Next. Okay, so... Force them to move back, that's nice. Not a bit everything, but at least something. I think now I should be safe to move forward and hit the city twice. Pillage this tile. Hope I have range damage to kill the swordsman. I really, really want to buy an upgrade for the Spearman. Um, yeah, I would have to have the money though. Question is, without the upgrade, can you can you survive on this tile, or should I just sell a unit somewhere, something? How can I get money? Wait. How much do I need for the upgrade? Hundred and five. How can I get three gold? if I can sell a building in one of my puppets, but I can't sell buildings any I can sell the library. Huh. I'm basically trading two turns of production into there was 23 gold into what's right now almost six turns of uh, word of income it's actually not a bad deal especially because now the pikeman should be safe here and i can move this guy forward this forest is quite annoying i have to say fortify you will move okay Two, three, four. Next. Uh, that would be a very nice peace treaty, but I think I want more cities. Hmm. 
And someone just doesn't know when to give up. Two, three. Well, that's the best I can do. Ah, oh, 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 this might have been a mistake. One, two, three, four attacks potentially. Can't afford to move the bowman forward, he just died. The damage from the city, the composite bow, and the swordsman. Do you want Jade for three gold per turn? I want to feed him as many things as possible, make sure he doesn't declare now because now it would be a disaster. I still have two copies of Jade. Well, sure. I thought I saw my last copy. Actually, this might be a bug. I feel like that this... Or maybe I just finished the uh, quarry. Do you want a horse? No, I want to keep my horses. Uh, this isn't bad. Maybe. It's still a lot more difficult than what I expected. One, two, three... Probably need one more attack. Hope this is a kill. Yep. Wait. Okay. 
44. Now I should finally be able to get that kill. Let's focus on Den Pasar. Now we don't have to be uh, or don't have to do anything else. Actually, there is this one more city. Hmm. Why would you declare? Okay. And. Uh, I think what you want is this. Sure. This is interesting. It's like the last thing I expected. But um, also, one of the things I didn't expect is Ram to declare. So, yeah, I will take this. This is perfect. It just makes everything so much safer on both fronts. If it um, just uh, stops... Um, Ethiopia from declaring. I was a bit nervous because there was already a composite bow sitting here. I'm really, really nervous that they will send like horsemen to our catapults when we don't expect it. That's a lot of units. Much money do we? Oof, we are losing a lot, but I think next turn uh, we should be able to uh, improve the income quite a bit. Fortify. Incense, iron, jade. Okay, we can sell iron to people. Listen, I have a lot of iron and you don't want it. Korea. Tell me, did you need iron? No. What about you? I don't want to feed him too much iron. I don't want him to defeat um, Byzantium. But for a decent price, I mean... Everyone has its prize. And this is like the last guy I want to feed iron to. Oh, you don't have money. Ah. Uh, three and one hundred and thirty three cash because that allows us to upgrade this guy. Okay, that is the granary that we sold two turns ago. And um, armor would be nice. Take forever to build though. Forage wouldn't be horrible either. Although, 
Actually, we don't have any mines, right? Everything that we have are quarries. Okay, let's go for the armory. We will see uh, how our income looks like next turn. And then we will maybe switch the wealth for a few turns. Fortify. You need to move back. Let's play it safe. Fortify. Oh, where are all these spearmen coming from? Just maintain the pressure on the city. Yeah, for reinforcements coming from the north. Hopefully they arrive in time. And uh, what are we doing here? Let's don't really need anything in the north. What I want is a road to Batam. Go. Okay, next. Well, it happened. The worst thing that could have happened, and the, uh, I did everything I could to prevent it from happening. Okay, this should save us a lot of money, yeah. Yes, we will take the production. And I think, <clears throat> excuse me, now I need the wealth. Because in four turns we get physics and I need to upgrade catapults. This is probably the only way how I can at least try to save my catapults. Wait. And I hope that the long sword survives. Okay, that's a lot of units.
Hmm. No, let's hit next and see what happens. the city bombardment this should be a kill i need to heal up as quickly as possible okay, i'll move up oh great heavy scare mission yeah that's the last thing that we needed Figure this out. Move, move, attack. Get the kill. Move, move, move. I guess. The point. Well, I'll gladly keep killing these units. At least something we can't take the city. I'll take uh, the kills. The siege is definitely not over. Two turns to get physics. Next. Go. Uh, I don't like this at all. I need to move back to our territory uh, to heal up as quickly as possible. Uh, isn't enough room. You have to move away from the border. Fortify. Actually. Also have to move back. Mm. This is the best I can do. physics that was faster than expected we still want to finish this road okay cover that will help and hopefully the city state will take care of these barbarians it's still other it can spawn right next to the border
It's a pretty cheap upgrade, actually. I expect it would be a lot more. 125, so we have enough for two more. Thinking if it's higher priority upgrading the skirmishers. I think I'll just end the turn. I can't upgrade the catapult this turn anyway. See how the situation develops. <clears throat> well, this is a stupid move no matter what. If I can fight those heavy skirmishers, I won't be taking any damage. I think this is safe. So don't want to leave the skirmisher on this tile. That's great, I didn't expect that to be a kill. Okay, let's attack here. And we'll upgrade these two. Ah, that was too far. Actually, no, it wasn't. Fortify. This seems to be as far as we can go. Well, let's send the trireme home, and I think I'll even sell it. We don't really need it. Next. And then now we'll find out if this was a mistake. Everything is alive. This guy just have to, has to run away.
Mm. Should be pretty decent damage. I think if I can kill the swordsman, well, I can kill him, that's for sure, but uh, if I am willing to accept the damage they'll take in the process. This is gonna hurt. Two, three, four. Okay. <clears throat> Now I need to get the money for the last trebuchet upgrade. I think if I can still take Denpasar. How much damage would this be? <laughs> Damn, I need this upgrade. Two, three, four. Block the coast. Wonder if they are retreating or if they are trying to you know, like flank me. How much is 125? So we would have to get 45 gold. I think if I should again sell some buildings to get the upgrade, but we don't need this upgrade that much. Trebuchets don't have indirect fire, right? I get this kill. If I can get this kill, then I can afford to take some damage. There. Okay, fortify. Start working on this road. Next. Oh, hello, knight. Hmm. 
97. Still not enough. Well, slowly start reorganizing everything. Send the health units south. And here, okay. They're actually moving away. Huh. What the fire? But uh, this might be a problem because we don't have any units in the north. We have nothing. 97, can I just quickly train a unit? Take too long. Can I send a unit north? It will take even longer. But I don't want to get even more over the cap. There are even two barbarian. Uh, okay, so I will have to do something about that. Let's use that last horse that we have. Next. No. I think I still have a chance. Although, <laughs> when I'm thinking about it, yeah. that's what I didn't need. I can't do anything about this barbarian. One, two. Well, I should be safe on this tile. This is actually huge. I think if I can somehow block the night, no, that's not gonna happen. Why do I have to retreat? If I attack and then go one, two, three, then he won't be able to catch me. One, two, no, he can't catch this skirmish either yet. Okay, fortify, you still need healing. Fortify. 
And I think we're gonna make a cut here. I'll have to check the map. Make sure I'm not missing something important, like I missed the barbarian camp here. And I'll have to figure out what I want to do, if I still want to try to go for Denpasar. It's very important that we take these two cities during this war, but uh, with Ethiopian longswords, knights, and uh, what else? Uh, heavy skirmishers and pikemen and everything in our flank. Not quite sure if it's still possible to take the city. Uh, the thing though is that... Um, Bodica declared on Indonesia. So I'm hoping that's gonna split his forces. See, he's losing Medan. If they're like his uh, Chris swordsmen here, his pikemen fighting here, or pikemen spearmen fighting here, then maybe there are not that many units left for the defense of these cities, and with the uh, trebuchets, city strength 18 is nothing. That's probably gonna be like 80 damage per hit. But I can't just really say that I'm feeling confident in this situation. Uh, definitely tricky. But well, we'll see in the next episode what I can come up with. I hope that you liked this episode. I hope that you're going to join me next time again. And until then, have a good time. Bye-bye.